Today's video is the first installment in our Madden Ultimate Team uh, free defense or free guide, and uh, we're going to be posting this on YouTube, and we're also going to have uh, a downloadable PDF guide that you can have as a walkthrough for this. So, uh, guys, if you're not uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, I highly recommend that because when you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you're going to have uh, access to all the future content that this series is going to be able to produce for you. But what we're trying to do here today. Um, is we're trying to basically just give you a free uh, guide to Madden Ultimate Team. I've been playing a lot of Madden Ultimate Team this season, and uh, what we're going to be doing is giving you a free offense and a free defense that you can use in Madden Ultimate Team uh, that's really going to be doing uh, a lot of good things for you. So uh, the playbooks we've decided to break down for you, oh, first we're doing offense, and uh, that's going to be the first week of videos, and then we'll do defense in the last section. But um, we're going to be using the Kansas City Chiefs offensive playbook. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and go up against Seattle. And uh, what you want to, you know, we're just going to use some, some basic sample teams. And I know that one of my subscribers wanted to see the Raiders. So we're going to be breaking down the uh, scheme with the Raiders as our sample team. But uh, obviously we'll be, you know, using ultimate team rosters. So you'll be able to transform that as however you want. But um, you're just going to come over here. You want to go into practice mode. You want to pick your playbook. Now, I recommend having uh, two controllers up whenever you go into practice mode. Um, so what I'm going to do here, if I can find, I don't know where I put the other. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, yeah, here's the other controller. Okay, so what you want to do, guys, is you always want to have two controllers whenever you go into practice mode um, to practice an offense or a defense because it's going to allow you to practice it against specific type of plays. And it's also going to allow you to make adjustments to the defense. So um, the defense we're going to go up against, everybody's favorite defense this season is uh, New England. So we're going to go up against that. And then uh, we'll just pick, you know, just a standard offense that we want to practice against. So a lot of people are running Cleveland uh, this season. And um, on your offense, on your main team that you're going to be utilizing, you want to go over and uh, pick Kansas City. And then uh, defense, we don't want to use New England. Um, but another popular one this season is Oakland. Okay, so now, now that we have that set up, uh, once the screen loads up, we're going to show you uh, one of our first concepts and uh, and talk a little bit about it. But the base for this uh, guide is the shotgun bunch week. That's the base formation. And um, what we do, how we teach this, is we have five kind of key components to your offense. The first is uh, a base offense, and that's an offense that you can use to uh, do a good job. Pretty much a, it's going to give you a base man beater, a base zone beater, a base running set, a base everything. That's your base type of offense. Uh, the second type of offense we like to have in our arsenal is uh, a red zone offense. This is an offense you're going to want to use inside like the 20 yard line and, and normally 20 yard line and in, and, that, and then you're going to use that offense to to basically do, um, to basically do what your 20 to 20 offense, which is your base offense, couldn't do, and that's score uh, inside the 20 yard line. So you know, oftentimes we like to use I formations and, and things like that. So uh, I want to walk you through this real quick. So our base formation is the shotgun bunch set, as you can see here. This is the basic principle, um, and then our, our red zone formation that we're going to utilize. Uh, inside the uh, five yard line and in is this I form tight and uh, what we like about the I form tight here is that you get the fullback dive you get a fullback fake halfback flip and you also get um, a halfback toss and halfback zone weak so those are all really good plays for us um, another formation you might consider doing the uh, red zone offense out of is this uh, I form tight pair I find a lot of success with the halfback zone weak and the halfback toss um, so yeah, we'll use that. And then one other one that uh, you may want to look into if you guys get a chance is this um, jumbo pair here from the Chiefs. It's not too shabby, but uh, we like all these uh, type of looks here. Now, um, so once we've established we have a good red zone offense, we have a good um, we have a good base offensive playbook. The next thing we want to have in our arsenal is a two minute. Um, type of offense and this is an offense we're going to go to when we really want to like really air it out kind of thing and uh, for that we're going to be utilizing the shotgun bunch quads from Kansas City um, it's got a really it's a five wide receiver scheme 
but it has a quarterback draw in it as well. And it has some really, really good passing plays that we're going to be able to utilize. So um, that covers uh, a lot of what you're going to see uh, as far as basics. And then uh, the other thing that we like to do is we like to have um, an offense that we can go to to run the ball at any point. And uh, the, the formation that I really like to do that out of, uh, out of Kansas City is this uh, pistol ace formation. I find it to be a really good formation this season. A lot of people have gone away from the pistol, but I find this to be just a really solid little formation. Um, another formation that we're going to show a, a little bit of maybe is this pistol weak um, because it has some really good plays. It has that read option we like. We ha it has the power option, the screen. It just has some really nice plays in it and uh, the pistol strong twin. So we're going to show you how to run some pistol stuff as well um, for the running sets. Uh, so we have running set, we have a two-minute offense, we have a red zone set, and we have our base set. Now within our base set, it's base personnel. So from the shotgun bunch, you're going to see it has uh, three wide receivers, one running back, and one tight end. This is typically called 11 personnel. But the thing is, and I just want to show you why we like this uh, place. This, um, this is normally what you're going to see from a base offense. It's because we can get to several different formations. So we have... Um, the shotgun trips tight end, which we can utilize um, as a basic as a basic zone beating type of formation. We're going to go to uh, when we want to beat zone coverage. We have um, the shotgun uh, empty chief that we can go to, and this is a good formation to use against base uh, base type of blitzing defenses. If they're trying to set up a lot of pressure, you're you're reading pressure, then you can go to this uh, little empty chief empty chief formation and it's going to allow you to beat the pressure. So that's what we're looking for. So the base formation actually encompasses a base offense of scheme that's going to have a three-headed rushing attack, a zone beater, a man beater, a blitz beater, and then a base play that you can come out in every time. So so that's what we're saying. So I know that a lot of a lot of times in the past I've preached this five set for success and uh, kind of adopted it from S. Gibbs and MaddenTips.com. Um, and what they teach is that you want to have a base zone beater, a base man beater, a base blitz beater, a base zone, three at a rushing tech, and a base play from all types of different, uh, from uh, from your basic scheme, right? Well, we're going to teach it a little bit differently. We're going to have that, but then we're also going to have uh, heavy running sets that we're going to be able to use. We're going to have uh, two-minute type of offenses where we're going to really air it out and try to get down the field quickly. And then um, the, the fourth one, that we talked about, uh, like I said, that base running set, and then we're going to have a nice base red zone d offense. It's a specific type of offense we're going to utilize in the red zone, and the, the whole idea there is trying to be able to, to score in a confined space. And then uh, our last set, that our last key to a successful offense, and this is right out of our, our defensive uh, guide here, is a uh, X-Factor formation. And we're going to teach you how to use this uh, Wildcat Chief and uh, I really like this uh, formation because it does a lot of things well. I don't know how many people are using it. I actually um, saw S. Gibbs running it, and then I decided to take a look into it. And uh, I found that this is actually a really good little wild X-Factor play that we can utilize once or twice a game. And uh, it's one of those you know formations that you're going to be able to use. And you want to have something like this, just a little mini scheme that you can go to at any moment and it allows you to really do a lot of cool things. It's kind of a power scheme, and uh, the Wildcat in this season does a really good job. So uh, I am looking forward to that uh, because, again, this is just like one or two plays every game that you're going to want to use this Wildcat set, um, but it does do a nice job. So that's a little bit of an introduction into what we're going to be doing, and that's what the videos following are going to teach you. Um, we're going to start out with uh, the base offense and work our way through. Um, now the you know every play breakdown is going to be a video, so it is going to be a little bit of a long process. But I think over the course of time, we're going to be able to do uh, and put together a really nice little uh, uh, guide for you guys. Now, uh, one of the most important things when you're going through this guide is to have uh, a notepad or something there to be able to take notes on what the video says, because we're going to give you a print guide, but the print guide is um, designed to be more of like a reference sheet. So it's going to be a lot of shorthand, a lot of quick notes, a lot of basic concepts uh, mixed in, and it's designed to show you kind of what a real 
uh, guide is going to be like. So uh, with that in mind, guys, it's really important that you um, do have uh, you know your computer or your notes section open on your phone so that as I'm kind of talking through these things, you can look at keys and different things that you're going to want to have uh, when running these things. So uh, I hope you really enjoy this series. It's kind of the culmination uh, of what we've been doing in Madden 16 this season, and I'm really excited about it because I think that it's going to have a lot of value to you guys. Again, this is going to be a completely free product. Uh, we're going to be putting it out here on our YouTube channel completely for free, and uh, hopefully it will show you a little bit of a glimpse into what the uh, ebooks are like. And if you're looking to go deeper from these videos, you can actually go into that ebook and uh, you can get those down below, which have some really power plays in there. So, uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. And uh, guys, again, the only thing that I ask you to do uh, today is I just ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you if you uh, in, if you have not already, and because it's going to give you access to um, the entire ebook. And then also, uh, if you guys have subscribed to the YouTube channel, then I ask that you show your support for our YouTube channel and for this series by sharing this video. Uh, with some of your friends just you know s send out a link or something on Twitter uh, just let people know that this video is an option uh, we're just trying to help people